Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. Bringing you episode number eight, eight of Road to Commander today. Gonna be using the EM1, which it's a laser gun in this game, and it's really, really weird. Um, there's a class setup I'm reusing. This gun, from the times I have used it, it pretty much sucks. So this is gonna be an interesting episode. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into some scene up. Alright guys, we are back playing some team deathmatch on the map Biolab. We're down one to two, and I'm really What? Alright, so when a Morse is beating you at close range, hold on, let's watch this. Yeah, well done. I I can't really complain about that, you know. It was a freaking sniper rifle. If you can beat a sniper rifle at close range, or if a sniper rifle beats me at close range, she can have that kill. Alright, hold on, let's do very Alright, so this gun has really good hip fire. This gun is like, like mine, you can like literally hip fire across the map with this gun. Like it is that good, so. We might just run around and hip fire to be honest. Dang, that was a hard kill to get, so. Uh, I think what I might end up doing, or what sounds kind of fun, is going for a EM1 DNA bomb. Not necessarily in a road to commander, but more just in like a, um, a normal gameplay. I think that'd be, I think that'd be a pretty nice challenge, because this gun really isn't the best light machine gun in the game and I just shot at my teammate. Sorry teammate. Alright, so when I joined we were losing. Now we're tripling their score, so that's pretty good and we're on a nice little like two kill streak or one kill streak. Alright, hold on, there's a dude over here. Oh, didn't get him. Didn't get him. I think they're gonna spawn over here maybe. Oh hold on. All right, got him again with that awesome hip fire. Again with the awesome hit. Oh, and I ended up dying from behind. But this gun, like, it's not that bad. I think maybe if I got the elite version and the elite version had, like, a little more damage, I think this gun would actually be really good. It's just, like, really the only thing holding it back is the damage and how long it actually takes to kill someone. But it, it is extremely accurate, which makes this gun... Like, that's really the only thing this gun is going for, is its accuracy, and the fact that you never have to reload. Oh, man, I shouldn't have gone for the hip fire. Look at he missed the snipe. Look at this, look at it. Oh, that was so lucky. Alright, well done by him. So, um, I think on my, on one of my accounts, I actually have the elite version of this gun, which would be absolutely amazing. I think this would be... One of the better elite versions of a gun in this game. However, this still can't even compare to the BAL. Because the BAL just freaking destroys everyone. Well, like I said, this gun, I think, if ever I were to, like, spawn trap in this game or something like that, I think this would almost, this would pretty much be the best gun because of the fact you don't have to reload. Because when you're spawn trapping, a lot of the times you die because you have to reload or get ammo and stuff like that. And this has unlimited ammo so you don't need to use the perk like scavenger or anything like that but uh, you lose a lot of damage and it is and it has a surprisingly high amount of recoil just for not even shooting bullets so and the mobility is really slow on it so I mean it has a lot of downsides but it has a few really good upsides that a lot of other guns don't really have going for it so are right, we gonna try and get on a little streak Oh, what is that noise? Oh, no. Get away from me. Ouch. Ouch. The worst part about that was the noise it made. See, right there. That took a lot of... Hold on. We'll cool this off real quick. And I'm pretty sure just tapping the Xbox... The, or the X button instead of reloading, uh, it just helps it cool it down faster. Because it can't overheat. Here, we're going to hit fire this guy. Wait, what? Okay, so that, I don't, I don't even know what was going on right there. I was, we were going, we were just going ring around the rosy or something. As that was really confusing and I don't even really know what's happening. Yeah, alright, so this gun definitely needs more damage. As a matter of fact, this gun, yeah, lacks, you think since it's a freaking laser it would do like a decent amount of damage, but, you know, I could not have been more wrong. Oh, 
Alright, got him. Alright, we ended up getting an orbital care package too, which is nice. Alright, got him. Alright, we're just, we're just getting some pre-firing right there. Alright, we're gonna call him an orbital care package and hopefully it's not something shitty. Oh, teammate got him. Missed every single shot. Or didn't get the kill. Alright, what is this? Assault drone? Do I have to control this? Alright, what is it? What is it? I don't know what that's gonna do, but. Oh! Get melted, literally! <laughs> oh man. I literally melted him. Alright, it seems like we're getting a little bit of a kill streak going. Oh, I think I ended up getting the last kill, so. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this gun sucks but it is it's kind of cool it's a really uh it's a really interesting gun for lack of a better term so i think if i got an elite version with a lot better damage i think that'd be a lot better so i do hope you guys enjoyed this episode go ahead and leave a like if you guys did enjoy drop a comment down below on what weapon i should use in the next episode of road to commander subscribe for more advanced warfare content see you guys in another video peace out